approval of the agenda. So um, I'll go ahead and um, make a motion that um, we approve the agenda. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second. Yeah, second. Okay. The agenda is approved. Um, uh, you think about quick. Oh. All, 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 all in favor. Okay. All, all in favor. Yes. Okay. Um, approval of previous month's minutes. Small correction. That's with regards to the dressing for the Founders Day presentation for mm -hmm. the EO. <laughs> I, I, Maureen said that she was thinking of doing that. I, I did not. That's not something I'm planning on doing. So I don't want there to be any misunderstanding. That I, I will not be there present, presenting in anything other than you know. This is casual, you know, nice, but I'm not going to be dressed yeah, superior. So, so okay. I just wanted to clarify <laughs> that. Don't do that. Just so to show up in clothing. I, I'm going to show up. I will be clothed. I will be prepared. Okay. I'll have a presentation okay. and we will, we will have a nice presentation, but I will not be dressed to, to the in costume. No. I, won't, I won't be doing that. I, that's not my plan. <laughs> Any other changes? Oh, um, well, 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 Karen and I, we're still working on the program, so so we're going to do something that's fluid and and professional in, in any way. So I had thought about it because um, I even have glasses and stuff, and I was going to discuss it with Karen and see what I'm If with. you want to dress up, you you would be beautiful. And, and well, it would be, well, it'd be great. And so well, I'm glad you that, but I'm not going to be dressing you. Oh, that's <laughs> perfectly fine. So we're, we're still working. For correction, the minute is removed that line then both are hoping to be costumed for the presentation so i just remove that line for the minutes correction sure i think so, I think so because we're, because we're, we're still working it out we have not finalized our presentation yet and i'm one of those people that until it's completely bugs run through um i i'm not gonna say this is the finalized thing until we're ready to go what i'm what is that? Um, 5D. Um, yeah, PE of Founders Day Program. 5D. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, I just, just removed that second sentence. Like, I, I, I just mentioned that it might be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Type of thing, but we'll, we'll see how this all goes. But um, the bottom line is um, with those corrections, Karen, is there any other issues with them? No one else has any corrections? Okay, so I'll make a motion and say with the corrections put in place and we approve the minutes from the last meeting. Second. Seconded. Okay. Uh, what do you, what's the All in favor? favor. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Show me the one. Minutes are approved. Uh, no, no public. Sure, I don't want to interrupt, but. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, at some point we do have to do, and I didn't put this on the agenda, but we'll need to approve the meeting day and time and location um, and where the meetings are posted for moving forward for the year. So I don't know if we want to do that now or do that later during the summer questions. We could do that. Um, Brittany, because it's not on here, we could do that with items from staff. Okay. Or yeah. items from the board. It doesn't matter. Once, yeah. Okay. Okay. That comes from staff, though. Right. right. So, yeah. No public uh, okay. members are here today. Um, item number five, discuss items from TACIT updates. Yeah, uh, I think the packet is, so we've got the, uh, the manager's report. And then the rest of it all pertains to the annual report, which is <clears throat> which is in the agenda. So we can go through the manager's report now, or unless that should be items from staff. I think that's te technically that's items from staff. So maybe let's go through that at that point. 
And it, I think the objective sounds good. I think the objective in this line item on the agenda is just to kind of take a peek at things and see if there was anything that needed to be briefed about or something before we get into the meat of it later. So no initial comments about the packet. Okay. okay. Uh, so going to old business. Uh, donations and contributions. Yeah, um, so those are finalized. Yay. Wow, um, that's wonderful. They're actually, we, yeah, we did have them done um, when Karen and Ann and I were finalizing the annual report, so I did tweak that a little bit, Karen, to say that they were done and included, <clears throat> and they're included in the, in the annual report, so that's where those are, and really there were barely any changes with legal. There are a couple little minor wording things um, but otherwise no changes and those are complete and ready to be utilized so Wonderful. that's great thank you very much i'm very excited about this and now we can remove that from old business yay yeah so so um and and I, i'm really pleased that we can add that into the final report of the year that we've got that accomplished yes that's huge. yes that's a big one. okay um digitized scrapbook Ooh, yeah, um, I have an appointment on Friday, um, I guess we'll see, <laughs> with the museum uh, to start scanning and and the thought was that we would see, you know, if anybody was available to come by, but if not, um, I could learn the process and then that way I can, you know, kind of teach that to, to you all who are eventually going to be doing the chunk, the, you know, the main chunk of the scanning, I guess. Um, Brittany, what, what time is that on Friday? Um, let me double check. I think it's at 1.30. Yeah, 1.30 at the museum. And she blocked out, um, she being Elizabeth, who is the new director of history that are um, blocked out an hour and a half of time. And we were just going to take the first scrapbook and just kind of see you know, see how it went, see what we so learn so, from that so I process. apologize. Karen just walked in. Um what time was that again? One thirty on Friday. One thirty. Um I can try to get there. We will see how that goes. What is it? I would is? like to be helping with the digitized scrapbook, but I can't make it Friday to go look at it. Okay. Well and the thought was so. that we like everybody is welcome to help with that we would love everyone's help with that and and um but if you and i know that friday is kind of short notice at this point we figured we'd get something on the books and that way i can kind of learn the process and maybe work some kinks out and then um you know and whoever can be there is wonderful um but but if not that's okay and then we'll go certainly much more scanning that needs to happen that everybody can be involved in. So um, if that if that makes sense to everybody. Yeah, I can put it on my calendar, but I also think it depends on how well you're feeling. <laughs> if you're better by the yeah. way, you get the magic wand of <laughs> <And it's, laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's like just a cold or whatever, but I just didn't want to be getting anybody sick. So but I um, appreciate that so much. At this point, it seems like that should work out, but um, I guess we'll play by ear. <laughs> so I can I can send out maybe like a confirmation email tomorrow or something. It's just that, like that would be people wonderful. know if that's happening for sure. That would be yeah. that would be wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Too. Okay, but yeah, that's yeah. Um, but yeah, basically, it's just bring the scrapbook over and meet with them and start scanning and see how it all goes, kind of figure it out. So, okay, great. Um, see the PEO Founders Day program. Yeah. So generally, um, just to give me kind of a sixty-second rundown of of the content, and then I'll tell you which photos. And then you can give me any kind of feedback you'd like to, if there's anything else that you want included. So basically starting with when the house was built, by whom and for whom, um, going through the Sweeney's family, the wife, two daughters, 
also discussing briefly about the fireplace incident, why it caused the removal of the fireplace. Um, the trade for the house, um, I do have the deed that transfers um, interest mm -hmm. from um, Rose Sweeney to Thomas Callahan. So um, I'll, I'll discuss that a little bit. And um, then the thereafter, the Callahan's improvements, everything from very early on and all the way through um, their time and through the, the significant um, uh, addition to the house. Um, then going through uh, the life of the Calhouns, just how they were active participants in the community, Alice's club uh, membership, and particularly her uh, membership in the PEO. Um, then I'll go on to the, the fact that the Callahans gifted the house to the city. I have the, the deed uh, there as well uh, to share with everyone. Um, then uh, discussing how um, organization and management of the house began from there with the board of directors, hiring a house manager, um, and then the, the functions of the house at that point. Um, the initial clubs that were using the house, and then um, uh, the, the continued preservation um, acts throughout time, and then uh, the, the local historic landmark designation by the city of Longmont, and then the National Historic Register, um, the property is, is registered locally and nationally. And then um, just discussing briefly about the, the board members over the years, how have it been 91 over the years, and, and then the continued restoration and preservation of the house and garden, the current use of the house, including you know specific clubs in PEO, a chapter of PEO is still meeting here. So uh, then discussing briefly about the, the vacancy on the board, and if there were any interested um, ladies, then um, we would be happy to provide them with Brittany's contact information to contact her for applying for the city. So that's basically the presentation in a nutshell. The photos I plan to include in that are the picture of the house of the Sweeney's family outside. It's black and white with them sitting in the chairs with their two daughters. And um, then also the picture of them sitting near the fireplace that um, was there. Um, I'm going to include the deed transferring the house from the Sweeney's to Calvin's. That was Rose to Thomas. Um, I'm going to include the um, pictures of Callahan's at the house, including the garden, the fountain, the driveway, the cars, the ladies' clubs, the waffle breakfast. We do have pictures of um, Alice and um, a couple of her ladies' clubs just meeting and out by the fountain. Um, and then, of course, we have the waffle breakfast um, black and white photo to share. That's the pretty famous. Um, and then the, uh, I do have the photo of the deed transfer in the house from Callahan to the city. And the transfer that happened there was really quite interesting because um, Alice owned uh, the southernmost property. Tom owned this property and the 30 feet to the north. And for them to clean up the title, they had to deed it to Raymond, their son, first on one day. And the very next day, he had to deed it back to both of them. So it was really quite interesting, the transaction that had to happen to clean up the title and then transfer to the city. Um, so that'd be some interesting history for everyone to learn. Um, and then of course I have the newspaper article and um, the ordinance where uh, the city of Longmont designated the Callahan House as a landmark. And it was one of the, the first two that were designated as a other. So, um, that as well and then of course the National Historic Register and then some current photos of the house showing our most recent um, restoration so those are photos I and, and as always Karen is very detail-oriented and she's got all that but I had kind of toyed with the idea of um, putting a little snippet of being a fly on the wall of wouldn't it be interesting to look at the conversation of what took Place between Alice and Thomas about donating the house. Oh, yes. And I thought that, that would be kind of a, a nice little thing because I don't know about you ladies, but I know that when I have discussions with my husband, um, I have some set opinions on things, and he doesn't necessarily agree with me, but I think that Alice was instrumental in looking at if she was going to be 
that this was a joint decision. It wasn't just Thomas. I think it was, she was very influential in the sense of she had her clubs and her ladies here and I don't think she wanted to, um, now Ken, this is all conjecture. Conjecture, <laughs> because we don't have historic accuracy on everything, but this is where I'm gonna pull in to Karen for imprint more information about would it be interesting to have that conversation of what she was saying to say, I think we should do this because I'm not going to leave unless we donate this to the clubs. Well, because well, I'm not well, deserting be my friends. In. It will be tied in. I think you're on the right page. Um, here's here's specifically what happened. There is um, language that is captured and um, and was provided through Mary Shy mm -hmm. um, that was instruction by Tom and Alice that. You know, the men had all of their clubhouses, the children had their playgrounds, but the women, women have nothing. Their so place. that will be included in this. And did and that happen during a gathering that when they were offering? Um, it's, a, it's a question of, a, of exactly if it was part of the city council meeting or not. I don't know. But what was part of the city council meeting? And it is, it is the third page of the recorded deed that is a transfer from the Callahans to and this have it here, but I'll share it with you all <laughs> electronically. But the third page includes that um, minutes, that two paragraph uh, minutes from May 27th of 1938 saying after, let's see, Mr. Lanyon, and that's the mayor at the time, um, announced that Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Callahan had made the generous offer of deeding their home and grounds at Third Avenue and Terry Street to the city of Loma to be used as a woman's club building and civic home. It's in the deed. So, yeah. so specifically the city council's minutes, and then they said after considerable, considerable <coughs> discussion, yep. they moved and seconded and accepted. And, and um, so but, that's but see, all I, 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 But that language about the, yes, the men had that, the children had that, the women have nothing. That's going to be included. And that's part of the. Um, this is this is where the, part of the initial board of directors because yes. that's where that came from. Yes, and this is where I was thinking that maybe we could take the ideas because we talked about bringing the um, I don't know if you remember this but sit, but the historic women that that come in and, and speak and whatever else. And I thought I surely could do some research and come up with a little snippet of my own of what it would have been like. Um, in parentheses of what we can imagine it would have been like of, of what what Alice said to her husband and and, and kind of so I was toying with this and, and I've got to work it out yet and we'll see how it works because Karen I know you're such a perfectionist that I, I don't know I'm a historian so, and so I like to really stay to what's factual and what's, what can be proved I, but I do think that a little bit of I also think it would be interesting a, because they did ask us to come in, and I also wanted to be entertaining. So um, yeah, and, and yeah. keep all keep all this idea. So we're we're still our presentation is not completely finalized, but these are just some ideas. I I also want to put it out to the board um, if that's okay because I'm not going to do anything that would put our board in, in jeopardy in any way, shape, or form, and and what your opinion of things are if you. you if we just go with facts and that's where you're at, that's great. We can do it that way. Or if this was just a, a idea I, I had thought of. It. And Karen and I really did not have a chance over the holidays to get together. And so, yes. So. Question. Yes. How long a period of time did they give you to do this presentation? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. As members, <laughs> we'll be there. <laughs> yeah. It, it yes. makes for a long morning. Yes. So I think um, being punctual and sticking to that right. is important. Yes. But I'm not talking about a 20 minute presentation. I'm talking I, I think walking away with that question in your mind, what was that conversation yes. like? It is very yeah, valid because haven't we all yeah. wondered, I wonder how, how did she talk him into that? Yeah. Which you always I, mean, to, I personally have always thought about wouldn't it be interesting to be on the fly in the wall mm -hmm. with the yeah. to, to listen to that conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I just thought it would be kind of nice to kind of start off with, with that, to put the question out there, mm -hmm. and then go into this is what we know is factual. 
just one other little bit of color that I think is so interesting is the fact that, um, what's her name, Alice, um, drove her own car and went all around town at a time when women were normally accompanied and um, just pointing out that she was very independent and progressive and, yes, exactly. and then say, But you know, she was still known as her husband. I mean, of course. Yeah, but I mean, so, so imagine, imagine a, a very spirited and um, progressive woman of the mm -hmm. time having a conversation with her husband. I, I'm just saying that picture of her with the car is kind of a neat bit of color and could could sort of help build it is it okay is. Yeah. help build up to but, but I was yeah. thinking literally just a snapshot of the conversation in 1938 and I can do 1938 I have got the hats and I've got everything to do that I can suggesting do something might be the, but making clear that we don't have conjecture oh, it's, conjecture. it's, it's, it's all yeah. conjecture that that's yeah oh so you I would actually like to pose in a picture oh that would be neat I thought I've got the hat, I've got the glasses, it's just glasses, I've got everything, and I really kind of toyed with this, and I thought it would all be conjecture to just think what that conversation was. Just imagine been. what that might have been like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like it. Yeah, it has a lot of color. That's it. And we're talking five minutes. Maybe later. five minutes. Four or five, five minutes. minutes. Just, yeah, just to start off the conversation and then just to say, now we're going to go into what we know is fact and historically accurate, mm -hmm. and this is what we have. Will well, there be questions? Yes, we're open to questions. And the answer at the end is what you said. So just just a thought process. Anyway, so I'd like to know what you guys, ladies, what you ladies thought, and we'll go from there. But but that. So if you think that's okay, I think um, that'd be nice. I think it adds a little humor, a little mm -hmm. color. Yeah, some personality to it. All right. So, which a, PEO? Do you know which PEO she belonged to? Okay. 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 The oldest one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It started in 1907. Anything else on Founder's Day? Okay, uh, moving on to the um, 1213 and 1220 open houses, the news releases. Yeah, I just wanted to share numbers from those like we would with regular open houses. Um, and those were just the, you know, those couple two hour ones that we added in December after the news release for the grant project went out to give people more opportunity to come and see the house. Um, so on the 13th, we had 40 visitors from 4 to 5. Um, nobody else came in from 5 to 6 o'clock. And we had $97 in donations and six email signups. Um, on the 20th, we had 34 people from 4 to 5, 11 people from 5 to 6 o'clock for a total of 45 visitors, $101 in donations, and seven email signups. So I think it's a last minute little thing, getting an extra kind of people in the house and and a couple hundred dollars in donations and the email signups was good. So Brittany, would you repeat? It had been posted in the date. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Brittany, did you uh, would you repeat what you said after the donations? Ninety seven dollars on the first day, and then what did you say following that? Uh, six email signups. Six, okay. And then uh, on the second date, how many? 45 total. Oh, you mean email um, signups? Email signups. 45 total visit. Email signups. Well, emails, uh, seven. Okay, thank you. Yeah, sorry. Am I coming through clearly? Well, yes, yes. Yeah, you I'm are. just not listening clearly. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, but that's not it. I have your client. I'm on the other end of the router. So it's just sure. Um, yeah, so I think that that was good. And it was picked up in the, the Longmont Leader, the Times Call It, the Daily Camera all ran that. So, so yeah, just a little tidbit there. I think that was Did we get clippings from the way other, to get people in that? From the other papers? I. Did we get clippings from the Times Call and the 
My neighbor had thrown hers out already. Um, I have the time. Karen, you got one. All right. That was the original um, story that came out earlier, so. Yeah. We've, yeah, we've got the one that Colleen brought by um, that was not the, not the updated one, but it was just the advertisement for the open house. And then um, one from the Times call. That, that's the one you have, Karen, right? Yeah. Karen Grace, yeah. the, the full one from the text call? OK. So. I have an additional one yeah. of that to give to you. Um, but we didn't get anything from okay. the camera or from um, the leader. Leader. Not yeah. leader. Well, I'm not leader. It's on the line. No. So. Okay. So that could be accessed. Well, that's, I think that's great for the two that we added. Um, I, I wish we had more than 45 people, but that's that's basically um, 85 more people that we've not had in the house before and uh, $200 or, or so, a little less, of donations, but that, that's, a, that's a good thing. Okay. Yep. Anything else on that? Okay. Not for me. <clears throat> Moving on to the updated video. Um, I don't have any updates on that other than I hope to have something for you to review before that goes out. Um, I'm hoping for February, so that's okay. the plan. Okay. okay. Club affair? Um, I've been thinking about it. Um, I would assume that we should be meeting pretty soon. Mm -hmm. So I attempted to make my brain come up with a date, but it didn't happen. But <laughs> I hope with suggestions. I would say we start meeting next month sometime. It, um, it wouldn't hurt it. Um, the basic place to start would be, and, and we had talked about outside meetings, outside of these right. meetings. Correct. So the basic place to start would be um, our goals, what we're attempting to do with this project and secondly then a refresher of the list of the groups that are in this community and thinking of the newer younger people that are forming groups in the community my daughter belongs to a group that just kind of happened with a bunch of friends who are all in different types of businesses they meet once a month and it's, it's social but they're all still kind of promoting their businesses. Mm -hmm. Well, they meet in each other's homes or they go to a restaurant or whatever, but there's a possibility of we have a, once a year, maybe a gathering here or maybe every month, who knows? Ma Jung was mentioned oh, numerous times yeah. in the open houses because they saw the card tables and people playing bridge and, ah, oh, Ma Jung, I want to play Ma Jung. It's very popular. Yeah. So that's another thought that there's groups like that in town, or that would like to form groups like that. So that would be a good starting place is to come with our brainstorming ideas about people we know of that are in groups that would, might benefit by using the house. Yeah. And how to reach, like you're saying, the younger generation. It's mm -hmm. not just me, but my daughters that are in their 20s yeah. and, and 30s, and how to get them. I wonder if uh, going online to meetup.com would uncover some local, you know, young people's kind of groups. Well, I think if we can start and just get a date on the calendar when to meet, then by the, yeah. by the time we meet, I'm gonna brainstorm and um, tap my nieces and my daughters and figure out exactly what they do. And, and how do they meet up with their friends and what exactly are they promoting and what are they doing? And I have a gamut <laughs> of different personalities <laughs> ask That's and good. come up with ideas that way, at least. So, so we should probably start with your schedule. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So our next meeting is um, February 14th. Um, let's 
So um, either sometime that week, and it could be maybe after this meeting, or Thursday the 15th maybe, um, or the, f I'm looking at my chemo schedule here. Yeah. And I don't have it set in stone yet. That's why I'm yeah. kind of hesitating right here. Um, well, we could put it in place, and then we could always shift if we need right. to. But the best week for me actually looks like it would be the 12th through the 16th, or um, 26th that last week. Okay. Uh, What would be? The, that, that week of the 12th and 16th. That would be a better week. I would say on my calendar, if calendar deals. Um, um, open. I'm open on the 15th or the 16th, so whichever day is better. I'm, I'm good week. with everything except the 16th. On the morning. Except what? Everything except the 16th. Okay. So maybe the 15th? 15th Four. would be great. As long as it's after about 10 30. It's fine by now. Got it by this day I go to. How does that work with you, Brittany? How does that work with you, Brittany, for your schedule, the 15th of February? At 30? She no, after. She you're wanting to be um, Possibly, if we, if we could. Yeah, if we can. Can we meet on the 15th? I think so. Uh, there's an event. I think, yeah, what day of the week is that? Thursday. Thursday. It's a Thursday. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think there's an event on the 16th, so we should be good on the 15th. Could we meet at, Karen, would it work for your schedule if we met more like at noon or? or? I just, 9, 9.30, 10.30, I've got. Okay. So at 11 maybe? Can um, we meet at 11? Sure. So then did we work through lunch or do we wait until after lunch to meet or what works best there? Bring your sack lunch. Do you yeah, want to bring, bring your sack, sack lunch and walk through it? I don't. Yeah. Works for me. To our meeting? Okay. It's bottom to one? Uh, okay. 11 to 1. Okay. All right. Thursday, February 15th, here at the house, 11 to 1. And Brittany, will you send out a notice with that, please? Sure. In case we can all write it down. But... Don't apologize. I'm and then I have to put about three different reminders. You know, three hours, <laughs> one hour, <laughs> one day before. <laughs> oh, woman, up my own heart. I love it. Hmm. We need to set a date for inventory too, don't we? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's coming. Okay. Uh, moving on to the annual report. So what you have uh, in the packet is the most current <laughs> annual report with the, 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 all of the information that we have available to us, with the exception of the yellow highlighting, those numbers um, in the Callahan House Fund, those are yet to be finalized. Um, so but they will be before the report is ready to be submitted to City Council, of course. Um, I think uh, the, the, correct me if I'm wrong, Brittany, but the, the items that are highlighted in blue were 
somewhat questionable at the time and we just needed to either wait or then check in with the board about them. And I think the first one was yeah. the document has been reviewed and accepted by the uh, city's legal department, see attached document. So that's why that is highlighted mm -hmm. is because the, that is now approved. Before it was, it, it was waiting. It was with the legal department being reviewed. Yeah. So, so now that that is that was in that time. Yeah. Just wanted to notate. Uh, yeah, and then the second two highlights are things that we wanted to review, and the fourth highlight was also something that I added that I think we talked about, but I wanted to double check. Okay. So the second <clears throat> blue highlighted item is the word "ladies," um, and the only reason that is highlighted is and questioned whether we should have that in here and. I do believe it is necessary and it is this board's decision. Um, uh, it is in the deed of the house <laughs> that I, this is made for women's we... clubs. So I think for historic <sighs> nature, it's necessary to keep that listed there. Personally, because of the deeds and because of the, the, the original intention of the house, I think it's important to remove it. So that was the only reason why that was <laughs> no problem with it. I think that that's it too. Yeah. So. Just to think about moving forward, that you know we're not we're obviously not limiting clubs to be weights only, and at some point it might not make sense for it to say ladies clubs any longer. Right now, that is still the case, but also just kind of something to think about moving forward that it you know it may not be ladies only any longer, but at this point it is. So and well, when you have the, that's what the deep, discuss the club affair. Yeah. Um, should we be prepared to look more broadly? And mm -hmm. I guess a photography club that we she participated might. all the time, and it was yeah. men. Um, the Rotary clubs, yeah, the yeah. Okay. Kiwanis, yeah. right? But, right. But for the sake of keeping true to the deed. Having that on there is not harmful. No. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Then the next um, on the page three of the, the under maintenance, mm -hmm. uh, the new stove purchased for the kitchen in 2022 still needs to be installed. The delay is due to the size of the stove being greater than the opening of the historic homes doorway. Um, movie company has been consulted to determine how to disassemble the stove and reassemble it in the kitchen for proper installation without damaging the historic home. The reason that's highlighted is because while that's language I included and wrote in there to clarify why this is outstanding, it's not a fault of anyone or anything other than the fact that um, you know, modern day appliances may not fit in historic homes and so the process is a little tedious but necessary to maintain the integrity of the historic structure. So are you okay with this language or would you rather it not be there? <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with the language. Well and I, I'm sorry to interrupt but the stove is actually there's an update on that now. The stove is in. It's, mm -hmm. it's is done. It? Yes. Yay. Yay. Oh, oh, so, oh no trip no <laughs> yeah. Yay. We're, we're wow. one of the bigger walk in the kitchen day for you. <laughs> so so we so, can we can now so that say that, that, it. we can anyway. now say that the new stove it, it, it has been installed. Yes. Okay, yay, that's great. It was installed in twenty I think so. It didn't happen the last week. Yeah. Right. It was in twenty twenty three they came yeah. into that. I can't even work on the and get this. Yeah, yes, so it was, I think it was like the 29th, yeah. 28th, oh, or the 29th. Yeah. I mean, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's done. It's done before so. we submit this report to City Council. That's good. I That's just wanted to beautiful. make it clear that yeah. it was no nobody's fault of why it was still kind of hanging yeah. out there and lingering out there. It was a matter of um, yeah. well, just sure. a historic home and a, and a modern day appliance. Yeah. So. But now so the new good. language for that, you want to just say like the the stove that had been in the uh, house storage is now installed and um, talk about plans for the auto house or what should that say now given the fact that it's complete? Um, I think so because we're moving forward, aren't we? <laughs> I, 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 
Yeah, Brittany, could you say that one more time? I'm not sure I understood what you asked. Um, there's something along the lines of like the stove that was being, because I think it mentioned it in the previous report. So this year I would say like the stove that was being stored is now installed in the home and plans for that space in the auto house are underway or something along those I, lines. I would leave out plans because this is about 2023 mm -hmm. um, and it's ma it's under maintenance. So the plans, I think, would be like okay. 2024. So yeah. Our goals, yeah. yeah. Our but, goals. But, but it also doesn't have to go in there. No. Yeah, uh, I, I also don't think it's a bad thing to say that we struggled getting it in because of the historic nature of it. It's, it's always good to share what happened and why it took us longer than we had hoped to get it in. But now it's in, and we're celebrating that. Yeah. So, it, I mean, I, I think we just say... It, uh, the new stove uh, is installed. Um, the delay was due to the stove being greater than, and, and but it, it but it's now been accomplished. I, I don't see that we just changed the wording that it it's, it still needs to, but it was accomplished, and we can even say the date on the 29th that it, this was accomplished on this date, and this is why there was a delay, and that's it, and then we move forward. Yeah, work. Everything will move. Yeah. Shall, shall I edit that? Yeah. yeah. That was a good idea. Who should edit? Uh, you were nominated. Well, I think, I think, <laughs> why don't you go ahead and, and okay. do those. Accept the nomination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I didn't realize I stepped forward and everybody else stuck behind me. <laughs> I was on the computer screen. I couldn't see that. <laughs> Okay, no problem. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and cool. Then the, and then the last blue highlighted item is on the um, goals. And Brittany, you're saying that this is something you added in and we want the board to determine if that's something that we want included? Yeah, and I guess along those lines also, if we want to talk about plans for the auto house or not. I think we do. Because yeah. that, that moves, if we state that we have plans for the audit house and that we're moving forward, I think that's a good thing under our goals. And that's something that we have had hoped to work on. I so I don't know that we, did, did we talk about plans for the auto house or I, I was going to say, I don't remember I know that. So I think at this point. I, we have, I actually have updates about that for items from staff. So oh. I don't know if we want to put that in the report then or not, but. So, well, well since so obviously the report's not going to be absolutely complete until we have those final numbers from the Callahan House Funds, I think getting to this point is good enough for now because I imagine next month we'll be looking at this hopefully one last time. Maybe we'll have those Callahan House Fund numbers for 2023 at that time and then we can do a final um, review of anything else that needed to be added. Does that sound right? Okay, so we will look at this again one more time. I think we have to because we yeah. don't have yeah. numbers. Yeah. We don't have the have the final numbers of the Calgary House Fund. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so basically, we're putting you on the spotlight okay. when the staff report comes up. I can't read it here. <laughs> <laughs> although I do think that although I do think that acquire a tunable period appropriate piano for the Calgary House music room. Is okay as something that to include as a future. I, I wonder if we can combine that. You've already got a goal mm -hmm. one, two, three up that says replace the first floor piano with a oh, yeah, period appropriate right. piano. Yeah. So just combine right. them. Yeah, that's that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That is that. Yeah. I guess I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I could have sworn I put that in there, but I'm like, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, yeah that, that is that. <laughs> It's already there. Yes, yeah, there. We'll just come. So, okay, we're good. Okay. All right. Yeah. But we will be Let's looking at this auto house out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not so talking about auto house right yeah. now. We don't the have second. information to no talk about. Yeah. So, for now, are there any other things we need to say about the annual report as it stands? Um, Forward. It's a work in progress still. So okay. okay. It will be on next old month's business. Yeah, old okay. business agenda. Uh, moving on to house inventory and setting the date. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, I don't know if anything else in the rest of the report needed to be 
looked at or not, but there's other attached documents. But I mean, I'd oh, be for the, to go for the annual report. I didn't have yeah. any questions. I looked at all of it, Brittany, and I, it looked good to me. I I personally think we're just waiting on the the numbers. Right. I agree. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Okay. So, house inventory. So yeah, we just need to set a date. Set a date. Yeah, and everyone's available to help with that. Um, and I did I didn't include the inventory from last year in the report because it would have been like fifty pages long. Um, but I did send a digital copy to everyone just so that you have it for your records. Um, but. I thought printing that was yeah, a and lot. <laughs> it, it would have, have killed a lot of trees, and I and I appreciate it. I, I, I looked at it, the digital copy. Did anybody else get a chance to look at it? I looked through yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what date do we want to um, set to uh, gather together here? Brittany, do you have some suggestions for us? I wanted to, when was the last time the board did inventory a couple of years ago? Did, like, is it, I assume it's kind of an all day, you know, yes. or a several hour situation based off of from last year. I think we just pick a day and go through it and see how it goes. I've never done it, so okay. it's been at least five years. This is something so. you want to do in January? February, you know, like what's the timeline? I, I think it really depends on Brittany's schedule. I think yeah. so too. That's yeah. why I, I ask if she has some schedule. dates to suggest for us. And we don't uh, have to do it all in well, one day necessarily. All right, we could break it up. Yeah, and in terms of uh, timeline, I think just you know, as we can get it done is great. I don't think that you know, it's really for us. It's not like getting reported anywhere else, so there's not really like a date that it needs to be done by. Um, Wednesdays, clubs are usually in the house, and I imagine we don't necessarily want to do it after the next meeting, just because you're already here for a couple of hours, and then that would be a good chunk of time. So is there another weekday that generally works for, for people? I'm, I'm pretty, like Mondays and Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Fridays are I guess I pretty open. Thursdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays are best for me, but I'm flexible. Wednesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays, and Thursdays are not good for me <laughs> <laughs> on the most part. Um, at least, at least that second, that second week in, in the month, um, I can't do those dates. Um, I, I open up after that. Um, it's that second. The second, if week. everybody doesn't have it for their consent, you can people could come to whichever one they could come to. That's true. Yeah, maybe. So, so truthfully, well, but correction, I just can't do this. I, that I can't do the second Thursday of the month. It's just I, don't, I can't do it. And we and, and then again we have the Callahan Hills oh. on that second Wednesday too. So. Um, I don't think we're. I don't think we're pinpointing just the second Thursday. I think just generally. I mean, I think you said this Wednesdays and Thursdays in general. Right. Yeah. So they're I'm better be for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe can we look at another Wednesday or Thursday? That's what. That's what I'm trying different. to. Different. Thursday. Thursday mornings aren't good. Okay. Thursday morning. I think uh, between nine thirty and ten thirty. Okay. Wednesdays, it would have to be the last of the month because that's the only time we don't have clubs. And I think it would be good if nothing else were going on in the house while we're doing that. Yeah. So Thursdays are good. Um, so it's the that works. as long as it um, begins at and 11. I can come in when, when I get done with laundry. Mm -hmm. It's hard to do. I don't want to put a pinch on things. How soon do you want to do this, Brittany? So, uh, it really doesn't. It really. Do. I mean, it can be in February or. Well, let's look at February. You said early six. Karen Reed. Say that again. She's got normally. She's say earlier in the month. I've got a Bible study from nine thirty to ten thirty on Thursdays. 
Okay. What about the? Well, we could. I I can still come when I get done, which is not a big deal. What about the twenty first, the twenty fourth, to the thirty first of January? Yeah, or even February first. I can't do the first. Any any of that works, I think. Okay. I'm good with 24th and 31st, anything like that. Oh, well, except for the 31st. You can't do the 31st? Yeah. I'm not on the 24th. Oh, no, I take that back. I have someone on the 29th. But so I can work around. around. So, yeah, exactly. We can so do the Thursdays. I'll just end up being So what about the 25th? Would that work for everybody? And then you come when you can? Mm -hmm. That work, works for me. Mm -hmm. That would be a better thing. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay. 25th it is. What time? Should we say 9? 9? Start at 9? on to the piano offer. Smith and Barnes Victorian Upright circa 1900 is Jacqueline's, uh, in Jacqueline's family. Yeah. yeah. Offered. And Karen and, or, sorry, Cindy and Maureen and I have been trying to figure out a date to go look at that. And Cindy's also been looking for other options as well so that we potentially have a few things to compare. Um, so I think, I think that's where we're at with that. We were looking at potentially a date later in January to go see uh, the one that belongs to Jacqueline's mother. And, and yeah, like I said, cindy has got a couple others. I thought we had a date set on, it on the, I, I thought we had a date set on the 22nd. Am I miss? Oh, miss is that, that's what I, I wasn't sure if that was for sure, but I do have that as a, a date all set up. Yeah, I, I put it in my calendar. I have a book for the 22nd to go on a field trip with you. Okay. I didn't know time. Cool, okay. So um, you're right I have an I'm I have sure. a meeting 12 to 1.30 yeah. that day, so it has to be before that or after that. I, I'm good to go, you just need to give me time, and I guess the big thing is when Jacqueline's gonna have lettuce in the house to look at it. <laughs> and it yeah, would nice, be, be nice to make it Somewhere still in the middle of the day, not rush hour. We either do it we're early. We're going all the way to Lakewood, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that I have a, t a twelve to one thirty that day, so it have oh, to be yeah. there in the morning before that, and time to get back, or, or we leave after that. I'm good with morning. I, it doesn't matter for me. I, I, I'll be flexible. Yeah, I guess whenever. Forget the concern about rush hour. Whenever okay. we can. Well, I mean, if you guys left at like 9. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Things, yeah. You still should be able and to get back. That's my meeting, so I can make it at 12.30 if you need more time in the morning, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> that's my meeting. I'll make it quick. <laughs> it's it's a be okay. What's the kind of thing that... <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, let me know what that well, looks like. Yeah, like it's pretty fine. And, okay, thank you. Uh, I, 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 I can go as early as eight too. So this is, or seven. I don't care. I'm, I'm, a, I'm Yeah, a, I, I can too. We can just get it, get it done, get it, yeah, and get you back. with you and just. I got my yeah, cup of tea. We'll travel. There you go. Nine o'clock. Nine. Yeah, nine should be good, and then that'll give us enough time. I, I imagine we're only actually be looking at it for you know a short period of time. So. Well, I, I wasn't planning on spending two hours there. there. No. Should we? Uh, well, you know, I know you downstairs. said you were willing to drive. Brittany, should we come to here and and then you drive from here, or what would be convenient yeah, for you? We should just meet at the Memorial Building. Oh, yeah, you could meet at the Memorial Building where there's more parking. There's a lot more yeah, more parking. 
just down the street. Okay, Memorial Building 9 o'clock. For field trip. Anybody else? Brizzy, contact there? Veronica about the, um, the van. Okay, thank you. The minivan. I don't take the minivan. Yeah. I take the bear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, I won't be filtered then. <laughs> the pause. It's not correct. Tell your <laughs> Sorry, it was that. Uh, uh, no, no, no. You're, you're great. I, yeah, I honestly thank you for, for doing this electronically when yeah. you're feeling so horrible. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's it's cold, but I don't want to. I don't want to share. <laughs> okay. Um, and as of yesterday, I had not heard back from the two different ones that I. Uh, contacted uh, pianos on Facebook Marketplace. So I emailed them again or messaged them and we'll see. Okay. But they they keep popping up. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. And there's really no rush, you know, with with any of these. We want to wait yeah. until we find the right one. So if, yeah. you know, if it turns out, even though we drive down here, if that one's not the right one, we'll, we'll just keep keeping an eye out. I, I think the bottom line is so. from discussion that we've had here at the board, it's more important that we have quality and a good instrument that's going to be here for a long time. I mean, let's face it, it's, it's a large item to yeah. work in and out, and we don't want just to be... And after we look at uh, Jacqueline's piano, we, you know, have take notes, and we know what we saw there, and... We can no, move on. Yeah. Yeah, and we also need to be fair to Jacqueline see if she's got a timeline as well to right. see if she's getting rid of it at a certain point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Shall we move on to new business? Yes. Okay. Uh, Friends of Callahan House or similar program? Is this something that I brought up last um, night? Yeah, I think. I think you all are going to check into. Yeah. So, Brittany, do you want to talk about it a little bit? Where do you want me to? Um, well, I think that we. Um, well, you. Either way, I think we we basically kind of deemed that maybe an, an actual friends program, the same as what they do at the museum and the senior center, isn't necessarily appropriate for Callahan House because it would require like a secondary board that is in control of funds and things like that. But right. and we all thought we were something agree. similar, like a membership. Yeah. 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 The, I think yeah. Our, our questions arose, yeah. and I, I, there's, there's no reason we can't. The, for example, the museum has, you know, a membership, right. which is, you know, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But you get, you get something out of that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you invest and you get something out of that. Mm -hmm. My question is, if somebody wants to invest on an annual basis here, and I get that it's 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 based on a donation, but yet, what do they get out of that? Yeah. So, so I think that's would be the question on setting up a program like this. So, if you put in twenty dollars a year, whatever the amount you decide is, um, what is what do you get for that? You get some recognition. Mm -hmm. What else? I mean, that I think that's the question on what this might look like. So, so along with the recognition of you know being listed right. on right. the friends group, I could envision us having a separate friends of the Calvin House uh, open house day, where it is just um, those members sure. who are invited to come and tour through the house. And just have a little more personal, you know. Well, I mean, you certainly could do refreshments and things like that. Yeah, I was going to say, if we're, we're, we're being a donor, then it would be nice to offer something. For what, that. We, what if we had talked about you know, the waffle breakfast? That's going to be something that the 
it's a disassembly fundraiser. I think, focus, I right? think that needs to be a community yeah. fundraiser. Yeah. Right? Okay. Exactly. Okay. But nevertheless, the idea this of point something being refreshments or something, I, I, I like that. They receive I mean, something yeah. for their donation. Yeah. yeah. But then if we have that waffle breakfast, those people that are donating mm -hmm. would get a ticket for it, perhaps. That's or what I'm saying. Reduced yeah, rate exactly. or whatever. If they we could have, have those kinds of things. That's, a, that's exactly what I said. We should get a ticket it, or it, it, for ticket in general, like the Valentine's tea and things like that that we're planning to have more events, you know, seasonal events throughout the year, or maybe they have a discounted ticket price to those fun elective events that we're going to be adding to the <clears throat> and we're really just getting the scratching general. the surface of those things or programming like that. So that is definitely an area where you could we could put in a discount for folks who are are members, friends, friends, of, friends uh, of whatever the, the word and, and, right. and friends get a little bit more around to that. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I, I I'm certainly not against it. I I, I like the friends of the Calhoun House. Um, um, I don't know. I think I didn't know. She always likes sitting next to me. Yeah, um, she does. Yeah. I like the idea. I know we're. I I think there was a, a confusion on what we were looking at, but I personally like the idea of what with what we came up with that that. It isn't going to be a separate board type of thing, but this is going to be more like a membership, but not a I like it's the words for It's not a friends. separate uh, 501c3. No. It's, it's just, it's about. Yeah, and the money will go into the regular donations. Yeah, yeah. and all just goes to the Callahan House Fund. Non complicated. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty. We may take care of like, friends if there are other programs that the city utilizes that are friends, and this is going to be. Separate from that, we may have to come up with something. So if this is a program, like the word you friends, have it, have it, have it. Some. it does. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so, I guess the big thing is coming up with the verbiage mm -hmm. that would work. Any thoughts? Other something other than friends? I don't know membership personally. I don't like yeah. membership. Mm -hmm. So what's so, what's another? See, I thought ad admirers, but something not that word, but something mm -hmm. supporters. Supporters. Idiots. Admirers. supporters of the calendar now. Supporters, donors. Um, what would be a C word? Which is Callahan uh, contributors. Contributors. Yes, or, that's a great idea. Yeah, Callahan has contributors. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna let that let that percolate. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give yeah. everybody give that a little Good bit of thought. That. We will too. Yeah. And um, let's let's look at this one again next month. And we'll we'll think about maybe it, we'll we'll try to include a little. For next month, maybe a little package of, of things that as a, as a proposal of what that could look like. Okay. With, with some numbers. I think um, discounts for using the house too or for events could be oh, a perhaps built into that. Yeah. That's yeah. a that's a good idea. Very good. Yeah. Idea. yeah. And that Isn't might mean a and that might mean mean different yeah. levels. Like if you yeah, are, so yeah, if you are a donor and oh, you're, you yeah. don't, you right. donated a thousand dollars or you donated five thousand dollars, then maybe that has Different more than impact than on the rent. Well, you know, if somebody's yeah, yeah. donating five dollars, it's wonderful, it's appreciated, but that doesn't give them a yeah a ten percent discount. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. so that right. would have to be worked over. A bit. So, Brittany, I'll, I'll I'll ask you to come up with a. a little bit of a framework and maybe you and Kristen and I can talk about it before the next meet before we excuse me get before, the next pack before out. I have a baby yeah before she has a baby yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, she's, she's, she's got the she priorities she does yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. talk about it that is a deadline that we can't get around <laughs> so uh, Kristen yeah. 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 Uh oh, bring up a friend. Okay. I want to cross that off my list. I love it. Okay. All right. So, so 2024 office elections, officer elections. Yes. So we have to do <coughs> elections, right? For what do we got? We've got uh, chair, secretary, and historian, right? Mm -hmm. 
I would like to remove my name from. I was a. Uh, I'd like to remove my name from being secretary. <clears throat> if I'm going to chair or co-chair the club affair, I just assume focus on that. And right now, I'm going to struggle with some of this mm -hmm. writing and all this stuff. So um, I don't want to be secretary anymore. Uh -huh. So Me I, either. I want a clarification. Am I co-chairing with you, Thomas? Did you volunteer? I did. Okay, I, I wasn't sure call that. that so. I didn't. I wanted to clarify a clarification because if that's the case, I don't want you to feel like this is all on you, and, and I don't want to feel like it's all on me either. So I did the same thing. I, I didn't know you volunteered, so I volunteered. So. Okay, so whoever so then wants to have three of us. We've got yeah, that's fine. That's a, that's great. Three chairs. That's yeah, perfect. that works. We'll cover you. So do we have any, and I, I haven't done this like this, um, and I missed yeah. Park and Rec Advisory uh, Board Monday, so. Yeah, I haven't seen this for process. Uh, I, the, I went to the Historic Preservation Commission, their first meeting of the year, uh, oh. last week or whatever, and they basically, same as every, the same we do for parliamentary procedure is electing, you know, you can make a move to nominate. nominate someone, and that could be seconded, and that could be all in favor or not in favor. Is what actually last year they did pieces of paper <clears throat> counted, but um, I would I would suggest the parliamentary procedure, um, and you can, like I said, make a motion to nominate someone for whichever. Could box. it also be volunteer? Someone yeah, volunteers to take an invitation. Is there somebody that particularly wants yeah, to do a specific position? I think that's the. Well, I would I would say let's start with chair. So, yeah. are, do we have anybody any nominations? Or I'll use the word volunteers, but nominate yourself for chair because you do need a chair. Well, I am pretty involved with things. I don't mind serving as chairperson. My other interest would be historian. So I'm kind of at a place where. Leave that to you if you want me to serve in either capacity. Well, I don't want to do a historian, and I'm not going to be the secretary. I, I, I will do the chair. So, nobody else wants it. We have, we have a one nomination officially for chair. Karen, do you want to be involved in vote for chair? I think is the question. No, I actually think it would be wonderful if you were. Do we have anybody else? And please don't, you know, this is a small group. We're very right. close yeah, come on, somebody else. We're very close to the chair. Please step, step forward. So. Okay, if we have one nomination, I don't know that we need to do a written ballot. I think we could. So we could or, just do it this way where I'll make a motion. I um, I nominate Karen for, for chair, um, Karen Reed, um, for, for no taking purposes. And um, anyone second, second that? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 And we have a chair. I, I think Aye. that is perfectly okay. acceptable under yeah. the circumstances. Congratulations, Karen. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome to the Couldn't hide under the table on that one. <laughs> okay. Secretary is uh, candy is no. <laughs> it's a hard, it's a hard job. Do we have anybody else who would like to nominate or think thinks that they would be able to help for secretary at this time? I'm willing to do it. Awesome. I nominate Cindy for chair. Can I second uh, that? Okay. Secretary. Okay. Nominate Cindy. For yes. Secretary. All right. Yes. And do we have anybody else? Or second, we have a second. Do we have anybody else for secretary? I do not think so. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know who else wants it. Right. It's tedious, but it's been a couple it's, of years. It's, it's, okay. It's okay. Yeah, it is. Then, uh, okay. do we have a, a vote then for? Yeah. Yes. All those in favor? This is now you. Yes. 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 All right, and I hand and over to you. Yeah, we have Cindy as Cindy secretary. Is secretary. Yeah. And, and for historian. And I nominate myself only because it is kind of a natural fit. Yeah, continuing yeah. the work. 
Do we have a second? I think second. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't want to is there a second? <laughs> I'll second that. Okay. All those in favor of Karen being Karen Cruz being a historian? Aye. 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 <laughs> Karen Cruz is in, it, it remains our historian. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations to all of you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you all. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Are there uh, items, next item is items from the staff. And this is where Yes, I have Oh, may I pause for a moment? Yeah, where we can approve that. Hang on one second, Brett. Hang on just a second. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. It's dawned on me, and I should have brought it up when we were um, looking over the agenda. There are a few other things that we do need to do, just standard procedure. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you as chair, you need to kind of help direct us with, um, we have to agree or vote or determine our posting location for agendas and cancellations. It's typically been on the web and in the 50 pin mark. And if everyone is okay with that still being the standard and that's the posting locations, then that's what we still need to turn to the meeting. Okay. Yeah, and so I think that's a bad one Yeah. Oh, is that what she was? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you, she was going? Because I was going to say that's something. You, had, you had a list. Business. You had the list. Well, it from, should have been us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But the, what was the list yeah. that you had written down officially? From that email yep uh it's the meeting date the time the meeting location and the posting of the meeting notices so that all needs to be approved yeah so i think we've, we've done the posting location for agendas and cancellations that's the website and um, the 350 can bar okay and then um, our meeting day and time. Our meeting day and time, how do you feel about continuing to nine o'clock? <sighs> I have to make a suggestion. Yes. I, I like meeting at this time. This works for me. But I also think that we need to get more people involved. And that means a younger generation. And I think we need to really seriously look at making our time until later. At what? Getting more women or people involved on the board, and that means moving the time later for people that work. And I think that is something that I, I wanted to bring up for a time now that there's people that won't even look at this board because the meetings are held during the day and they can't they can't attend because of of doing this. And if we're if we're seriously about being more inclusive and and um, and having more people on the board, I think we have to look at bringing our time to a later time. I don't particularly look, prefer to meet at five o'clock. That's not able to like. Is that lunch hour? We look to Albert. Sorry, Brittany. Go ahead, Brittany. Um, you're, you're breaking up. Like that. We... Do you want to turn your camera off and just chat? You frozen. Guys, for opening the board up again in the middle. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that any better? Can you see us? Okay. You're frozen. I have an idea. She can uh, leave her, leave, we can leave it like this, but is Brittany okay. capable of calling yourself on and you can put her on um, speaker? Yeah. And then Brittany, can, why don't you just turn well, off your camera? Turn off your camera for starters. Can you? Okay. A lot of times that will help. Cool. Let's see if we can just chat like this. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Yeah, it works. Sometimes that works. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so I was just saying, I didn't know if we could maybe just advertise, like when we open up the board position again in the mid-year if we could say that like the, the meeting time is flexible based on new board members or something okay <clears throat> yeah i like that too because at this point we don't have anyone requesting a different I, I, I for meeting and I, nine o'clock works for all of us correct yeah um so let's just go ahead with the nine o'clock um on the second wednesday for now and, and, and do exactly as, as Brittany has suggested. Open it up and say, 
our meeting time is flexible. We, we are willing to. I am concerned that we're adjust. missing people applying for the board because they look at the time we meet and they said, I can't work that. I, said, um, I work. Yeah. I can't do that. And that's so, a concern to me that we're missing opportunities to have people on this board that would be a great asset simply because they work and they cannot get here at mm -hmm. nine o'clock because I'm sorry, I'm working at that mm -hmm. time. And and I, I think we have to be flexible enough to recognize that maybe if we want to to get more people involved, we might have to change our, our meeting time. So we should do that. I'm hearing your suggestion is that we change that now so that it is more attractive. Not necessarily. Well, can I, we just change the language now mm -hmm. on the website, for example? Oh, exactly. And for new applicants, definitely. Um, and any time we're speaking about the vacancy on the board and um, the opportunity to, to um, apply, maybe we can start to say the, 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 the meeting times are flexible based on the members of on board members the board. Schedules. Yeah. And, yeah, like and yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a, I think that's the better way to It's a cohesive that group, and we, we is that okay? Can we do that? Can we start yeah. that? And, and that means we changing something. We can change it later. I mean, we could, right. Yeah, and when we start to advertise, uh, mm -hmm. or that, that information goes out, mm -hmm. and, and right. you, you guys start to advertise too, that, right. that we're, we're emphasizing that we're open to adjustment to a later in the day. I, we don't need to decide today for sure, but I think my question to you guys is, you know, do you want to do? It's going to come out of my mouth a after five o'clock meeting, mm -hmm. which for me is that long. Well, I don't want to. <laughs> that's why I, 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 I don't, I don't want, want to. So that's why I was like lunch hour. Yeah. People can do a lunch hour thing sometimes. You know, once I, a month. I, I, I think the bottom line. Lunch hour. I'm concerned that people look at the boards when they look at boards of what they're going to look at, and they look at the times of when those board meetings are held. And they look at ours automatically and they say, yeah, I'm not yeah. retired, I can't do that. And I want to make sure that we're not missing opportunities simply because of our time schedule. So I'm completely open and flexible. Do I want to change it to, to after five? Not particularly. I, I, I like being able to come here at nine o'clock and get it done. That's, that's, I'm good with that. You know, and we could look at something like a, like a four o'clock which, which a lot of people once a month, a lot of people mm -hmm. get done working for that. Right. Heck, a lot Make of people in my experience right now don't want to work more than about four or five hours a day. So, That's right. well, they so they're probably home. done right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay. so you know, we, we don't need to decide, but maybe we, as we post. As we post. Because it's out there right now, right? Do, like all of the city's boards yeah. and the commissions and yeah. their, their meeting times. Yeah. Are all they're all listed. Yeah. They're all posted. Perhaps we can include yeah. in hours that our meeting times are flexible and adjust based on the members of the boards. Because mm -hmm. so. we may end up with yeah. people that would fit into this time schedule just perfectly. Oh, yeah. And, and would not want to. Right. Right. And, right. and, so, and, that, right. and that's it. But, I don't. So I agree. Look into it's just I just we, want it to be yeah, I agree. a little more just, squishy, yeah. simply because I don't want to miss opportunities of somebody that out there that. But I'm thinking right now that yeah. is one thing we can yeah, change because it's already yeah. posted out there on the yep. website. Anyway. We'll, we'll do so, something. Right. We'll do something right away. To, yeah. Yeah. Let's put it this way: I've asked good. people if they apply for this board and they look at the time and they say, "I work. Yeah, I want to apply." Mm -hmm. So if they look at the time that is like what we're talking about is going to show up now with the changed language, it should be a little more uh, inviting, a little more open. Right? That, that's, that's not exactly, automatic. No, no. Yeah, that's we'll, exactly. We'll, we'll figure out the consideration that that's on to, to yeah. apply that, and then obviously when we get to the posting time, we'll be really crystal clear about opportunity for this meeting. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. And, I, and, I, and I, I just wanted to address it. And and again, I'm good with nine o'clock on the, on the second Wednesday of the month. That works for me perfectly. Yeah. But again, I appreciate you but guys for being for posting purposes. Something that indicates open to listening to what other people yeah. say. So for our for our, so for our meeting day and time, are we clear that we are we're second clear, Wednesday we're, right. at ten o'clock or nine o'clock for right nine. now? 
Yeah. And then where it's going to be posted online, they're going to say it's going to be flexible. Beautiful. Thank okay. you. Um, do we need to make a motion on that time? On that? Uh, that's a good question. I'll, 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 well, just Probably. clarification. Yeah. I move yeah. that currently yeah. we stick with the current time. Um, with the ability to be flexible and listening at different, as we've stated in the discussion. Um, there we go. Listening at different way on the website. Yeah. yeah. I'll second. I'll second. I'll second. Yeah. Um, it's been moved and seconded that we adjust, that, that, that we say we're meeting at 9 o'clock on the second Wednesdays, but we are open to adjusting the meeting time according to membership. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, opposed? Who seconded? Seconded. Okay. Any other items from staff? Brittany? Um, just the, <clears throat> yeah, just the, can you hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, now that the oven is moved, yay. Um, uh, idea moving forward with the auto house is to get a, a period appropriate looking storage unit in the, in the car of the auto house to facilitate us um, having tables and chairs available for large events. It is, it is the idea of moving forward and maybe a little bit of a revamp of like minor revamp of updating the you know, space, a few little things. So that's, that's kind of the idea. Um, and that goes along with like, uh, cleaning out and, and organizing the upstairs and the downstairs of the auto house and maybe utilizing the garden shed um, for some additional table storage and some of that stuff can go below the auto house and so just kind of reorganizing all of that and making it more efficient for uh, storing that stuff for rentals. Is there anything currently underneath the auto house? No. Um, no. A lot of spiders. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As long as there's no it's, bats. It's pretty, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty rough down there, but we were thinking that some of the garden stuff could could be stored down there and we might be able to use a lot of like venues just use a garden shed for their table storage and things like that. And I think uh, I would like to have our own tables and chairs available for like weddings and, and larger events eventually, but we need the storage for it. So I think kind of reorganizing the auto house and the garden shed and building a storage unit in the interior of the auto house in that open corner where the oven was um, so that those aren't just sitting out when people want to rent that space would be a good way to move forward. Um, I'm also aware that the floor in the auto house has been damaged. Are we going to be looking at repairing that? I think we probably would need to. I don't think so. So these are just ideas, you know, at the moment, but I think that those would be beneficial ways to move forward and utilize all of those spaces better and kind of up our rental offerings um, in terms of having tables and chairs and in terms of like the auto house itself being a better space well, to rent. Okay, Brittany, you are breaking up a little bit just so you're aware. So if, if we ask you to repeat stuff, don't be offended. Um, That's okay. I'm moving. Oh, okay. I'm moving. Uh, so I have a question for you. When you're saying um, you want to get more tables and chairs, how many are we talking? Well, we our wedding cap is 100 people. Um, so... 100 chairs and 10, 10 top tables um, okay. would be ideal. And this is kind of a longer term goal, but most of us have tables and chairs included. Mm -hmm. And right now we have to rent them. Uh, so I think that would be, and we do, I mean, there's lots of space at Callahan House. It just needs to be organized in such a way that the space is being utilized the best that it can be. Uh -huh. So I think having those items would be, would put us, a step up or or at least in line with other venues uh -huh. um and again just having like even right now there are tables and chairs just in that corner of the auto house so if you rent that space or if a group's party is using it there's tables and chairs just sitting there but they make really nice you know wooden storage units that make that stuff easy to get to and it's but then it's tucked away and you're not just seeing it all the time so i think that that would be a good route to go for that space 
Wow, I, I'm impressed that would be great, and I agree about the tables and chairs for the Is that an item then, Brittany, um, that you want to put on for new business? Um, well, to at least yeah, discuss it. it. I, yeah, I can provide you kind of updates as, as um, we ideate about it, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Is that, yeah. Okay. Anything else? That's all for me. All right, thank you. Items from the board. Anybody, so anything? I think a couple of things that if we can include these on next month's agenda, we're probably ought to talk about them. And one is the 2024 Open House events. And the second is the club selection criteria, which is separate from club affair, but it would provide us our um, guidelines within which when we are going to have a flood of club right. interested in meeting here, how do we select which club folks um, are going to be able to meet here? So I think um, those two items, if we can include them on the next mm -hmm. month's agenda, that would be great. I would suggest that the club selection criteria be decided before we plan the club affair. Yeah, 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 yeah for which sure. is why. So right. next, next, next so meeting, next, next agenda, next month's agenda, this is when we need to um, clarify that. Begin discussing this criteria. And do we have any criteria right now that's in place or that we've discussed in the past? Not really. So that's all. We've tried to get it open for discussion, but it was so bits and pieces have been thrown out, but nothing clarified. Yeah, it's kind of been bandied around, but yeah. Yeah. never, nothing concrete. Uh -huh. Nothing formalized at okay. this time. So it's right. time that we do put that on the agenda and talk about it. Well, well now that we've got the donation. Yes, everyone kind of come with Now that we've got the donation policy in place, I mean, this is the next. She disappeared. Okay, nice. No. Nope, I'm just getting okay. all sorts of notifications. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, the next item is future agenda items. Callahan House e-blast content. That is just the continuing um, so reminder. It, it just is a, a, to remind us to be looking ahead at what's coming up that we need to probably put together some language so that um, Brittany can get an e-blast out either through the email group and or through recreation. So question, do we do we have upcoming events yeah. and whatnot? So I, I've got a handle on that, but if anybody wants to put together like tidbits, you know, historic things for information. Historically, do we have anything that would be in, of events that have taken place in, a for, in February for for the Callahan House? Any past events that have taken place in February? I don't know about past no. events, but we have advertised for the upcoming tea. Right. I, I, I realize yeah. that, but I was hoping that we could have a historic something tidbit of um, ladies groups that did Valentine's parties here that did anything like that. I don't remember anything coming across anything, anything in, the, in, in the February that was notable. Which, by the way, the tea is full or virtually full, probably. Yeah, just about. Yeah. Wow, great. Yeah, just about full. I think there might be, I've got to look at the numbers again, but I think last I saw there were maybe a couple of half tables open, so basically a table. So that's exciting. Is that the one for the uh, make and also making the Valentine's? Okay. Right. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Good job, Britt. Nicely done. Cool, thanks. Yeah, well, just like one quick question about that event. It's not going to be use of glitter, is there? <laughs> there is bands at Callahan House. Good. Glitter is banned. <laughs> just want to make sure we are not opening up a massive <laughs> mess of sparkle. No, it's going to be that. like, no, like collage Valentine, like ephemera and doilies and, and okay. things like that. So okay. nothing super crazy. Not more old fashioned. Exactly. Yeah, that like is good. Like right. just, glitter. Yeah. No glitter yeah. homes. Just had no that. Glitter to make sure. Okay. Glitter. That's clear. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else that we need to come for the board? We'll entertain a motion for adjournment. 
It is 10.35. I move we adjourn. I'll second. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. All those wrong.